I've been planning on this for a while, and I've told a handful of people, at least, that I'm gonna do this. I wanna start a YouTube channel where I just talk about random stuff. It's mostly gonna be just for me, for my own benefit, but if it happens to help anyone else, then that would be amazing. So, this is the first of many videos, and this is a very short, kinda like, content list one. Um, just to sort of establish that this is not for anyone else, this is just for me. But, I mean, I'm gonna post it because that'll possibly help more people than just me. But if it helps just me, then that's okay with me. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I wonder if I have fans nowadays often, and I don't really think it matters. I mean, obviously, if you're trying to make a living out of music, or, or any kind of art, you have to have an audience for it to be profitable, but I think trying to do that was what was holding me back the most from saying and doing the stuff that I really feel most passionate about, because I just was worried it wasn't marketable or no one would be interested in it. But the problem is that all the stuff I've made I'm not even that excited about it anymore. Well, some of the stuff maybe I, feel, I still feel is pretty good, but a lot of it I think is half decent and not the over 9,000 feeling that I was going for. <laughs> so, I'm hoping that things are gonna change a lot for me over the next bit, but obviously we'll see what happens. I've hoped that a lot before and I've said that a lot before and Though I think I've grown up a lot, especially in the last, like, well, I'm 29 now, so especially in the last 10 years, um, especially the last five years, I guess. But anyway, I learned, I've learned a lot of stuff that's really important, and I kind of had to take a pause on music production for a while to actually learn stuff that's relevant to that into the, that lifestyle that if I didn't learn, I'd be probably screwed over later or just end up in a shitty situation, if that makes sense. <laughs> I don't even know if that makes sense to me, so I don't know exactly, specifically what I'm imagining there, but you never know what you don't know until you <laughs> learn it. <laughs> And I'm just glad I've learned things that I fucking definitely needed to learn if I'm gonna do this, whatever this is. I'm trying to, <laughs> trying to kick over my water bottle. <laughs> exactly. No, trying to fucking, I don't know, help people, save the world, change the world. All that sounds a little more dramatic, but. Uh, At the end of the day, it's not that I think that I know how to fix the world, but I feel like there's so many things that are causing me problems on a day-to-day -day basis, and I'm sure I can't be the only one. So I feel like if I start talking about it, then maybe other people might too. And that's, you know, that's hopefully how it goes. I've seen that work in a lot of cases. A lot of famous people say a lot of awesome shit, and then makes people think, but I don't really want to be famous, I just want these ideas to get heard. And if it's not me saying them, I'll be equally happy if someone else says the stuff instead. But yeah, in a nutshell, the various things I'm going to talk about are going to be, Wi-Fi is evil. <laughs> and um, mushrooms are good for you. <laughs> and like, that's a really stupid summed up version, so I'll probably cut this part out of the video. <laughs> but yeah, we'll, we'll let those things unravel as they unravel. Well, I guess there's not really any point in cutting that because you're gonna find out anyway, but 
give me a chance to explain it better because I purposely made that sound, I purposely made both of those things sound as dumb as they possibly could instead of actually explaining some logical reasoning behind it. So, <laughs> yeah, if you're gonna stop watching now and never watch another one of these, then, um, yeah, you didn't, you didn't try hard enough to actually give it a shot, I would say. <laughs> if I watched, like, one Joe Rogan or one Russell Brand video, it's like, nope, he's terrible, he's an idiot. It's like, you kind of have to, like, at least get the gist of what someone's actually trying to say before you say it's wrong. That's what I believe, but I get not everyone's going to believe that. In any case, as you'll find out in later videos, I am not going to be a popular person, I'm sure, for reasons that are very understandable and reasonable. No matter how much I try to do good nowadays, it may never change certain people's minds about me, and I completely respect that, and I don't think that I, I don't have any interest in changing that. These videos are not going to be for me to try and convince anyone to think differently it, or, or convince people to like me or prove that I'm a good person. I've thought of doing shit like that and I've never done it because just as much as it might seem fulfilling or worthwhile and as much as the outcome that I envision happening from that unrealistically, is an awesome outcome. I just don't think it would work, and I don't think it's a good use of my time. But, I think it's understandable why I was wanting to do that. In any case, no matter what I do at this point, whether I do bad things or good things, I'm sure people are going to hate me either way, and that's the way it goes. But. This is for the people that this might help. This is for the people that might get something out of this. And I know I'm one of them, because I'm already enjoying this, even though I'm just rambling at a camera in a park. with a beautiful view behind me that's way more exciting than me. Uh, Victoria is truly breathtaking. I love, I love the landscape here. Well, landscape, I love the land here. I love this. And Victoria is just a stupid Canadian name for it. I do not know how to pronounce the First Nations name, so I'm not going to try. <laughs> I should know at least how to spell it. And I cannot lie, I do not know off the top of my head. There's a few that kind of merge together in my mind. In any case, that's another topic for another video, but I think Land, I don't believe, is owned or belongs to anyone, but I definitely think it's wrong to just fucking <laughs> invade and commit genocide and all that fucking bonkers shit. That's the real issue I think I have with all that. But I definitely don't agree that anyone owns this land. No matter how long anyone was here, no matter how long they stay in the future, <laughs> Anyway, I'm sure that'll offend people, and I'm sorry, but, you know, like a woman, the land does not belong to anyone. She's a strong, independent woman. She don't need no man. <laughs> All right. Well, I was going to end it there, because that's funny or something, I thought, but... It's good to take a moment and actually appreciate how beautiful this land, as I refer to it, is. So we can talk about it, but talking about it doesn't mean the same thing as taking it in. Oh my god. I'd say that's pretty epic. Yeah, I know some people 
believe that I shouldn't live in Victoria anymore. Some people think that I should just move to Vancouver. I don't know if it's for, like, I don't really know what their <laughs> reasoning is for that, other than just, like, you shouldn't be a part of a community that doesn't want him to be. But, like, I don't think anyone can speak for the entire community. No individual can do that, and no group of individuals can do that. Again, if you got every single person in Victoria to <laughs> do like a referendum on whether or not I should live here, I'm sure a lot of people just wouldn't care. So <laughs> in any case, I have considered moving to Vancouver a lot, a lot, and in other places too, obviously. But I think the reason I need to stay here is because this is my home. I was born here. Maybe I'll die here, <laughs> who knows? But I don't feel ready to leave. I don't know if I ever will. And I think there's people that I can still help, people that I can still build, you know, relationships with, have a community with here. And I, you know, I've tried to do that the whole time, but it's tough because I mean, a lot of people just think I shouldn't exist anymore. And I have definitely, you know, I can relate to that in a lot of ways. And I, I've felt the same way sometimes, but I don't think it will do anyone any good if I just disappear or die or whatever. So, <clears throat> I'm not trying to get all bleak and dark here. I'm just being practical. If there's any good that can come out of me being here on Earth for the rest of my life, then I'll choose that over just... I don't know, hiding the way, or, I mean, like, you know, I'm not in the business of wanting to end my life, so it's not even on the table here. In the business of it? <laughs> Who says that? <laughs> I hope that's not a business. Jesus. <laughs> oh, see what I did there? <laughs> uh, and then that'll be other videos, because I am someone who was raised Christian, but I don't believe that Christianity or any modern religion really understands what the truth is. And I think if Jesus was around today, he'd probably be like, yeah, they fucking changed, well, who knows if he would swear, but he'd probably say they changed all the, all the things that I was trying to say. They wrote it down wrong, or they didn't understand it, or they purposely changed it to try and control people. Who knows? I'm not necessarily that invested in trying to figure that one out anymore. <laughs> but we'll we'll see what I have to say about that in some other videos if you want. <laughs> um, it's not that I'm gonna say like religion is wrong and you should listen to my beliefs. It's more just like my experiences with it I think kind of speak for themselves in some ways and the facts of what I've experienced are more important than what I or anyone else decides to believe after that. <laughs> and it's also important not to eat your own hair. But definitely gonna need a haircut. <laughs> okay, this thing's telling me it's low on battery, so it was good chatting with you for the first time even though you're technically just other versions of me. So I'm really just helping myself in every sense of the fucking... <laughs> anyway, this is getting too weird. See you next time.